Hello, I'm Arthur. Welcome to my lab. Just a quick update on some of the things that I did for my Hypercube XL build. Um, I'm going to use MKS Gen version 1.4 controller for this build. You can buy these on eBay. And the nice thing is that you can attach an LCD screen, full graphics, 3.2 inch LCD screen to these guys. Although, uh, actually, I'm not happy with this particular screen because it started acting up on me. If I power, power it on, it will go into the booting message and we'll just get stuck on that. So if anyone has seen this problem and knows how to fix this, let me know. I, I had this uh, display working fine for, for a while and then all of a sudden it just started freaking out on me. So right now it's not working. I have another one on, on its way. It's not a, the cheapest part. Uh, the replacement cost me 40 bucks. So I would love to get this one going. Um, I, I just don't know what's going on with this guy. And the bad part is that this is supposedly kind of, sort of, open, open source. But if you go to GitHub, to the repository for this uh, thing, all you get is a bunch of... Uh, zip archives with uh, pre-compiled firmware and you don't really get source code or, or um, uh, schematic files for the PCB itself so you can't re even figure out what's going on with this thing so in a way I'm not happy with this but on the other hand it really gives you nice uh, graphical user interface which I like so anyway going back to uh, the build info so I'm using this controller and to mount it I will use this bracket. It goes on the extrusion and there are uh, three mount points for the extrusion. Two here and one here and it mounts vertically like this uh, with the USB port sticking outwards. So this will be my extrusion right here. Uh, this is the extrusion, right? So the USB port is sticking outwards, the power cores are uh, going downwards. I already have a setup like this on my regular sized hyper Hypercube and it works really nice. And uh, yeah, uh, BL Touch. I will be installing this on my printers, uh, at least some of them. Uh, I haven't decided which ones will get BL Touch yet, but uh, some of them will. So I will probably be posting a video about this. And if you guys use my uh, fan shroud, my, my version that prints vertically, um, and want to use BL Touch, you can find this uh, mount for BL Touch on Thingiverse, but it will not work with my version of the fan shroud or um, fan duct because this part here. Uh, in the original part is round it's like it's just u-shaped and it, it will not work with my uh, duct so I've redesigned this part to have the correct cutout and also I've added a print support so this overhang here actually is a lot easier to print correctly because there's a support underneath so this part will be posted on, on my Thingiverse of course and if you use my um, fan duct, uh, you can use this part for BL Touch. Another thing is, I already uh, mentioned this LCD display, and of course you need to, a way of mounting it and an enclosure for it. And this is the enclosure for the LCD display. And I found this on uh, Thingiverse, but I've modified it a little bit. <clears throat> First of all, the original enclosure had uh, screw holes from the bottom, from the back, you have to uh, assemble this part from the back. And that will not work if you use the brackets that I've uh, also added. So I've redesigned the front of it to have the openings to put the screws through from the front and you screw into the, the rear. Also I added uh, a little recess here for one of the connectors. I added the holes for mounting the bracket and one of these pegs here was just too small, too thin, and it kept breaking off 
on my regular size Hypercube. So I've resized this, this peg, and the reason why it was smaller is because it goes up against the USB uh, port. And so it ha kind of had to be smaller, but instead of just having a, a smaller diameter, what I did was use a bigger diameter and just chop off this part that goes against the USB connector. So I get the strength from the bigger uh, diameter, and I also have the spacing for, for the connector. Um, and the, the holes again for mounting. And these parts actually are based on Tech2C's uh, brackets, which I'm guessing he also borrowed from somewhere else because they don't look like his typical designs. But anyway, uh, the original parts were a little bit longer and they were actually sticking out past the, the back plate. So I've uh, redesigned this, recreated this uh, based on his original part um, and made this this uh, span here shorter. This is 40 millimeters now and it matches with the holes here on the back of the LCD mount and you can use this to mount your LCD nicely on, on the extrusion. So you'll need these two, uh, two of this part and again STLs available on my Thingiverse for this along with modified versions of this enclosure and um, for the uh, power supply, I wanted to have a power switch somewhere on the front of my printer, so it's easy to reach. And then, of course, power socket somewhere on the back, because I don't really need to plug in and unplug the power cord all that frequently, so it can just be sitting in the back. So I've designed two separate enclosures, one for the power switch, and the power switch just snaps into the um, enclosure. You just push it in, snaps in. <clears throat> and there's a, a shroud here um, to block uh, wires and, and prevent anyone touching the, the wires, possibly exposed wires. <clears throat> so that just for protection. And then there's a cover that goes on top of that. To, uh, uh, for additional protection. And there's an opening on the bottom for the wires to come out through. Same thing for the uh, power socket. This socket mounts uh, like so. And th these, this particular version, uh, I haven't cleaned out this, uh, this part yet. So I can't really, oh, there we go. Finally, it went in, went in. Okay, so this one mounts with two screws. And then you have a cover that goes on the back of it again, like so. And both parts have two holes to mount on your extrusion. So I already have these parts mounted on my regular sized Hypercube and they work very nice. I'm really happy with how they um, turned out. I like having my power switch on the front and power cord in the back. So um, that's it for now for my Hypercube build. Again, look for the parts on my Thingiverse. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.